Hello and good evening. Good evening, Sam. I'm doing well. How are you doing? We will wait for one minute and we will begin. Hi Priyanshi, good to see you, good to see you as a regular person watching the Gazette magazine and discussing with me. You can ask your questions, ask your doubts and this is how you will be able to cover your daily current affairs every day. We are covering as many as 7 to 8 newspapers, government reports, United Nations reports, all the reports that are very important for uh, UPSC prelims and mains examination. Not only that, also for interview preparation, state service examination. Wherever you have any competitive examination that relates to current affairs, Gazette is your source. Good evening, Ashutosh. Good to see you again. Yes, slowly and steadily you are gaining pace at being regular. Very good. So, <coughs> let us begin. To remind you all, uh, I would like to welcome you to Edukimi's YouTube channel. My name is Harsh Singh and I will present to you the Gazette magazine for 28th September 2021. Your daily guide to UPSC current affairs. So, uh, today, Let's begin to understand what are the hot selling articles in the market. So, uh, the three important snapshots that we have covered today, update articles from the newspapers. Our first one, vitamin A supplement program. Some update regarding it, why some certain uh, report says that this supplement should be avoided at places. And what is the opposite side of it? We'll understand that. The second one is quarterly employment survey report. What does it speak of? This survey is carried out once in three months. And the third one is digital health ID card. So all in today's newspaper itself. We have covered them right from the newspapers of today. Uh, this day in history is dedicate to, dedicated to Rani Rashmoni. Who is she? What is about her? We'll get to know. Featured news, which will be telecast live at 6.30 p.m. today evening, is on clean development mechanism. A mechanism to offset carbon, right? So that we help in reducing the global warming and greenhouse gas production. So this feature is about CDM and we will cover this complete article at 6.30 p.m. live today itself. Image of the day relates to some rare variety of flowers from from one un undisclosed place in India. Uh, terms and concepts. The four terms that we discussed today are one, contactless credit card. What is the system? How does it happen? What is the update? We'll, we'll get to know. The second one is a bionic plant. What is the way it operates and what is the new thing about it? A homes. The third term that we discussed today, a home. And the fourth one is Samudra Shakti. So four terms for today. Editorials of the day, today we have small editorials, yet very important and good ones, very interesting ones. One on cryptocurrency, its advantages and issues. The second one is uh, about uh, the outer space. So now Quad has started to talk about technology and outer space missions competing with China. So this is the uh, update uh, editorial there. And the third one is on the malfunctioning of parliament. Some controversies, we'll talk about it. Case study of the day is uh, from Malkangiri in Odisha. So something wonderful happening there. Let's start the discussion. All right. Meanwhile, you can always ask questions. We will discuss that as well. And 6.30 p.m. we go live for the, uh, for the feature news as well. All right. So first snapshot is on vitamin A supplement program. And a survey, a survey connect, conducted by American Journal, it says that this program of supplementing vitamin A in food, it should be abolished and discontinued from several places, apart from certain uh, places like Bihar, Jharkhand, Mizoram, Telangana, Haryana, so seven, seven states. Why does it say that it should be abolished? And what is the reason for having such a supplementation program? See, vitamin A is one of the most uh, important ingredients that a child should be taking during their growth phase. In fact, India reports that as many as 70% uh, children consumed less vitamin A for themselves. Now, all this is present in the Gazette magazine, PDF you can download. It is available on the website around 4 to 4.30 p.m. You can also access the website right now and see the same article if you want to see, if you are not able to see this detail. Anyhow, so uh, let's continue. So since there is deficiency of this important nutrition in, in, in children, this is supplemented to them in form of some of the important food, food, and then it is fortified. This is how it is given in form of tablets, etc. 
although it is an essential nutrient which has to be taken in the body right so green vegetables yellow vegetables fruits this is what uh, provides vitamin a but uh, some survey says that it should not be given to children at specific places you know why sometimes taking excess of nutrient and vitamins and minerals that also causes toxicity in the body when a child is not getting basic nutrition like uh, pulses like uh, uh, the carbs water and they are not drinking the enough and good potable water and they are taking in uh, nutrition like this vitamins this is going to cause uh, something called as hypervitaminosis and this is the reason it was recommended that this program be stopped at several uh, states in india but india is a, is a state of disparity is a country of disparity and there are places where there is good nutrition there are places where this is ba bad nutrition if you talk about richer states itself punjab delhi maharashtra Tamil Nadu, these are states performing well in many indicators. However, there will be pockets where uh, the children might not be taking these kind of uh, uh, essential ingredients, essential nutrients. So this is the reason that this uh, survey brings two sides of the same story, right? So uh, whenever you write answers or present your view, you have to present the other side as well, right? So uh, one important thing that was done in this survey was that the sample uh, set that was taken, it was not complete. So when we do not take the survey from uh, the complete sample set, then of course we will have a skewed sample. That means the result will be lopsided. They will not be uniform. We will not come to know the actual situation in the whole country. So this is the first article update for you. Right? We have covered quite a few articles related to fortification of food, especially fortification of rice, because the Prime Minister announced about fortification in uh, the Republic, in the Independence Day speech, and after that uh, there were a lot of criticism of why fortification should not be done. Right? So one of the important reasons was hypervitaminosis. Right? If you cannot spell this word, do write it down at least, because this is what you will be writing in the exams. The second snapshot is on the quarterly employment survey report. Now, enough has been uh, spoken about the rise in em uh, employment, right? And this report also talks about increase in total employment. I agree with all this, right? We all agree that uh, there are some sectors which are doing well. Yes, education sector has employed people right now, right? Health sector has employed people. We know that manufacturing, which was paused a while back, it has it has started again. There's been, there's been a bounce back. That is true. But are we looking at the quality of empo employment? This is my question. So my whatever I'm speak speaking, it comes out of the periodic labor force survey report. This report is far more important than the report that is presented here. However, this is an important report, right? Quarterly employment survey, because these are the reports on the basis of which the government gauges which are the fields where more investment is required, which are the fields where more attention is required. So periodic labor force survey report says that yes, total employment has increased, but quality has decreased, right? People are self-employed, and they are partially employed, they are not able to pay uh, for their own expenses, right? They are not able, and, and the kind of survey which is done, that has also got some lacune. Because the recall period, it is a 30, 30, 365 day. That means in 365 days, if you are employed for a few days, you will be calculated as a person who is employed. So this is in rural areas in the country. Now we have covered this in uh, one of the important snapshots and featured news as well. So keep watching the Gazette daily so that you are updated with all the th things. So this quarterly employment survey talks chiefly about three important sectors which has seen growth in employment, right? And it has also said that female workforce stood at uh, marginal levels which was, which was just like what it was in the previous quarter, right? So this is the update article from uh, snapshot two update article. The third, it was to happen. This is about digital health ID cards, right? Now, what is this ID card about? See, in India, we have got systems which are centralized, right? Very simple. Zomato, does it manufacture food? Does it, does it make food? Do they have kitchens? No, they do not have kitchens. They only link the people who make food to the people who need food, right? So we are the people who demand food and these are the people who create food. They are the people who who are aggregators, mass aggregators, we all agree. Similarly, we have Uber, right? So Uber platform, which is for uh, cab aggregation. So cab services are provided through them, but they don't have, they don't own cabs, right? Similarly, we have got system called as account aggregator. 
account aggregated we did study in one of the feature news right you will agree if you have watched it so this account aggregator will collect all the financial data all my paytm all my bank accounts all different uh, links will be connected and this is my account and later it will be transmitted for other purposes what purposes if i want to take loan they can be given to me through this because all my accounts are linked at one place if i if i have to manage my wealth a uh, few thousand crores that i have so this can be done through this similarly there is a concept called as digital health card what is this so i go for my headache to one doctor once right so i get a prescription similarly thanks similarly just a bit please similarly next time i go to another pharmacist and then i take some medication for the uh, ache in the body right so uh, there are two different times when i have taken medications right one with the doctor prescription one with the pharmacist and then the third time i get some injury in my feet so feet injury and i take some medication now all the prescriptions that i have taken all the x rays that i have done not only that all the kind of medication that i have ever taken or consultation right all of them will be put together so that next time when i go to any doctor i don't have to carry physical copy also next time when my diagnosis is done it is it is very much possible that all my ailments are linked to each other isn't it true my eyes if there is more strain they can cause me headache no it is very much possible they can cause increase in blood pressure also similarly uh, if we have all the digital all the data placed at one place that is the one that is going to enable a integrated system for health management this is what is digital health id card about so india has implemented this digital system at multiple places we just spoke of finance now it is digital so it will be for all the realms now the very good thing about this is the security of the data security is question yes but approval for data usage who can use my health uh, id and data will be approved by myself right so this is one good thing about it but it is integrating all of it it is a 14 digit i card 14 digit uh, id which will be integrated with my aadhar card right aadhar card so jam trinity what is jam trinity if you know a little about uh, aadhar card you must have known that this is linked to mobile number and this is also linked to jan dhan bank account so jam will be linked with this digital health i card so this is the update and gov government has initiated this uh, digital health i card right 14 digit for repository of health i cards portable and accessible so if i move from uh, uh, say delhi to mumbai and after that mumbai to chennai all my data will be there and it can be seen at all the places in the country this is very good uh, development for the country so these are the examples you can put everywhere in your governance paper in pa in places of uh, administration in places of reforms which have been done with the aid of technology isn't it right so this is how i expect you will be utilizing this kind of uh, uh, data right okay uh, moving ahead uh this this day in history this day in history we have dedicated to rani rashmani she was the priest she was the head priest at a important temple in kolkata what are we talking about we are talking about the temple called as dakshineshwar kali temple right she was also associated with shri ram krishna paramhans this is the day that uh, she was born right now uh, what is important about uh, dakshineshwar kali temple is that this is also associated with the uh, with an important person the youth icon for our country one of the important youth icon who is that any responses i would like in the comments please so this gentleman after you uh, type i will tell you his name he installed uh, a mission called as ram krishna mission he also had a belur math where training of people would be done training of the monastic order would be done so that they can serve people when whenever there is humanitarian crisis in the country so whenever there are floods disaster management they come for the rescue and uh, we had ram krishna paramhans who installed the ram krishna order right who am i talking of here i'm talking of swami vivekanand all right moving ahead uh, feature news at uh, 6:30 pm live it is on clean development mechanism an important way to offset carbon between developed and developing countries and very relevant in news these days right so important holistic article in itself image of the day we are talking of yes ashutosh swami ji swami vivekanand you are correct so image of the day is on the rare variety of flowers which have been discovered in 
in kedarnath area so we are talking of uttarakhand now these are the areas the western ghats and the himalayas where we find endemic variety of flowers flora and fauna endemic means they are present only at those places and not at other places not only are many of the flowers and uh, species of plants and animals endemic they are also uh, vulnerable vulnerable to the climate change vulnerable to getting exploited and therefore there are uh, few important places around the country which are uh, to be protected and one place is the uttarakhand and we are talking of uh, these uh, rare varieties of uh, uh, these uh, flowers and these are the neel kamal and uh, solia flowers right so this is the flower we are speaking of india is a country of diversity and this is uh, exhibited time and again and upsc also asks questions like this all right terms and concept very interesting ones for today i love them contactless credit cards so first one is contactless credit card what is it about i am sure you people some of you have uh, have had this kind of uh, debit or credit card which shows a sign here right what is this sign about this is contactless credit or debit card what it does is all you have to do is tap this to the device to the payment device and the payment will get deducted automatically so very dangerous in one way but uh, very simple in another way so since it is contactless less uh, contact and th therefore wear and tear of this device will be less during covid times it has got higher utility absolutely true but there is increased vulnerability it is not even about touching if you bring it close it will uh, deduct the payment and it is very much automatic only when you tell the bank not to ensure uh, to ensure that this payment should be authorized then only will it will ask otherwise it will deduct this payment so i have got one card like this debit card and uh, the transaction limit uh, the government has ensured here the bank itself not the government 5000 per transaction but innumerable transactions can be done for 5000 rupees maximum per day now what is this technology this technology is the nfc what is nfc can somebody tell me what is nfc the full form of nfc meanwhile i'll explain the technology so uh, yes sam swami vivekanand yes so what is nfc i will explain that but you will tell me the full form of nfc so nfc is about uh, i will have to tell the word <laughs> i'll have to tell the word the word is near field communication so we are talking of communication at a very small range and this uses a uh, very high frequency of uh, rays we are talking of high frequency radio waves and radio waves are used why so uh, just like the technology used in rfid right rfid technology in which we have studied this uh, few times right the technology through which we deduct our pay when we cross the tolls right same similar technology but higher frequency is used here right so that payment is deducted so whenever this is made to touch this chip is made to touch that instrument that instrument releases some rays and it is reflected through this device very simple mechanism okay next so this is for the next age customers and the update is that see we cover the articles but i love telling you the background and the main uh, essence of the article so why is it in news is a very small thing is because this particular bank federal bank has released its uh, its new uh, contactless credit card one special thing about this credit card is the lowest annual percentage rate what is this so uh, we are, we talk of interest rate no so interest rate is one thing but uh, the annual percentage rate what is that annual percentage rate is the one which talks of the precise amount of money that will be deducted deducted from my end or it will be given to me so while interest rate interest rate talks only of the interest rate 6.5% suppose the annual percentage rate talks about interest rate plus the user charges plus the tax plus the fees so this is a more accurate re accurate representation of all the uh, percentage rates across so this uh, federal bank is offering very lucrative rates this is what is in news okay the second one is uh, bionic plants what is a bionic plant what is the meaning of bionics whenever we try to emulate an organism and try to get its best features for some help uh, we used bionics one good example of this is uh, uh, trying to emulating uh, emulating dolphins so dolphin have got very thick skin and the hull of ship hull means the base of the ship it also is made thick to be able to uh, uh, handle the kind of wa waves right water pressure so this is the reason this is bionics another good example of bionics can you give me one yes sam you have this card it is great so you have an nfc enabled uh, credit card which is a which is a contactless credit card now you know how it is 
Right. Okay. So moving to bionics, uh, one good example. Can you give me one example on your uh, on the chat message? I will tell you one more. Meanwhile, one more example of bionics is uh, the very simple example of uh, I forgot. Okay. Let's. Uh, meanwhile, let's just discuss what bionics is, this one is about, and after that, I'll tell you what uh, another example of bionics is. Right. So the update here is the scientists have explored a mechanism in which uh, a, a particular plant it can start to generate light during uh, the times during the night times. So uh, by giving these small nanoparticles inside this inside the uh, the leaves of this particle, the leaves will capture the light. They will get charged because of the presence of nanoparticles, and later they will also get illuminated during the times of darkness. Right? It is just like uh, illuminating those jugnus, no? Jugnus. So uh, that's what this is about, right? So uh, bionics. What very good example is the use of uh, laser, uh, use of radar, sonar, right? Sound navigation and ranging, laser light amplification detection and ranging. What is its use? It reflects the sound. What does it? Uh, how? Who does it uh, emulate? What does it emula emulate? Which organism? I would like to know that in the messages. Okay. Moving to AHOMS, protected class status. Now AHOMS are one of the important uh, um, persons. This is a class of citizens who are uh, a part of Assam. And we also tag them as Ahom kings. Ahom kings. They were they had ruled over the Assam region for around 600 years, from 12th century to around 18th, 19th century when the Britishers took over. So they were uh, important people there, and they have been looking forward to gaining some uh, credible space in socio-economic capacity. So they have been demanding for a scheduled tribe status. It is already pending, but uh, this time the government has said that they will be given a protected class status in their state. We are talking of Assam state and um, these were also the Ahom kings at that time and they have a special tradition at those places so uh, this is the update about Ahom kings uh, the fourth one is the Samudra Sakshakti what is Samudra Shakti this is the uh, exercise carried out between two countries which are the countries we are talking of India and Indonesia so important uh, part of India's uh, act east policy right so which is uh, indonesia here we have uh, indonesia and thousands of islands and important islands are sumatra java borneo kalimantan these are the important islands right so if you are uh, uh, a keen enthusiast of uh, uh, geography you will understand what islands i'm talking of right sumatra java etc so uh, this particular island this has got brunei also malaysia and indonesia can you please tell me what is the name of this island this island the third one here all right, and you see Malukka, uh, uh, Malacca State, one of the important choke routes. So this is where all the exercises are getting carried out, military exercises, training exercises, so that there is a there is a um, freedom of navigation for all the people in the region, right? And what is Sunda Strait? Sunda Strait is between two Indonesian islands, right? Sumatra and Java, and uh, this is an important place from where another trade route can get initiated, right? Okay. Uh, okay. So Ashutosh asks me, are these man-made? Oh yes. Oh yes, when you're talking of uh, these uh, uh, glow-in-the-dark bionic plants, we are talking of emulating, we are talking of copying what naturally exists in, uh, in animals and plants. So, uh, these, uh, when you see these small uh, lighting, this has been injected inside this particular plant in its leaves. It has been injected. These small particles, uh, nanoparticles, they have been injected inside this plant. So, this is man-made in a natural plant in a natural plant it has been man made right man made structure has been put inside all right okay okay papua new guinea uh, guinea no papua new guinea is here right here this is not papua new guinea right so uh, you may want to look at the southeast asia map okay uh, editorials the three editorials that we discussed today are one uh, India's parliamentary dysfunction, right? Now, this we have covered n number of times. If you have been watching uh, the editorial discussion, we would have covered at least six, seven editorials with different perspectives about the issue with the parliament, Indian parliament, and how it should enable to function better. However, this presents a different light. Now, the chairperson of Rajya Sabha, see, Speaker of Lok Sabha, 
and chairperson of Rajya Sabha. That's how we call it, right? So chairperson of Rajya Sabha, in one of the speeches, he said, the parliamentarians who are disrupting the parliament, they must be held accountable, right? So not only parliamentarians, but the people in state legislature also. So we are talking of around 5,000 people. And the way he has given out is, um, to name and shame people who are disrupting the uh, legislatures. Name and shame them in social media, in social spheres. But this has come to a dispute. Why? Because uh, he's from a ruling party and uh, he has not criticized the ruling party itself because the uh, ruling party itself is not holding important debates in the parliament. Therefore, this brings to light the accountability of the government in the parliament. The government has been passing bills without discussions. So 10 minutes of average discussion in the Lok Sabha we had discussed this in the last session of the parliament and 30 minutes of average discussion in the Raj Sabha of the conversation and not even discussion. The minister is just presenting and reading out the bill and that is over. And most of the bill not being recommended to the select committee at all. So when the parliament is not getting chance to scrutinize the bill, how will it be holding the government accountable? The article also raises question saying that uh, they are not, the members of parliament are not debating on important issues. We are talking of uh, important issues of uh, Pegasus debate, farmer, de farmer crisis, right? So all those things are being evaded by the government and that is why disruption is happening. I have been always speaking of three Ds, three Ds in the parliament. You must remember the three plus one Ds, right? Three Ds are discussion, debate and dissent. Always put them in your answers wherever parliament or state legislature conversations are there. Three Ds, discussion, debate, dissent. Dissent means disagreement. But disruption should not be there. So these are the three plus one Ds, right? They have been spoken of by various premiers, various leaders, and uh, we also will speak them. If we speak them, we will get marks for this. So uh, three important Ds, debate, discuss, and dissent, but do not disrupt the parliament, right? And uh, why to disrupt when there are rules and procedures in Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha? There are uh, procedures there are procedures to talk of and uh, the procedures speak of the zero R, the procedures speak of the uh, question R, but question R, if it gets curtailed, if it get, uh, if, 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 it time, if its time gets reduced in the parliament, then people are not able to speak then again and it has been reduced. That is the issue and this is the way, this is the reason that the uh, editorial writer, that person says that the government also have, needs to be held accountable here, not just the opposition party. It goes on to say that only uh, only around 12% of the bills in the current Lok Sabha have been uh, discussed in the uh, select committees, special committees. Whereas in the past governments, there have been high numbers. I am not speaking of, uh, uh, see, this is the 17th Lok Sabha. 16th Lok Sabha, there were higher numbers and 15th Lok Sabha, there were higher numbers. So we are not talking about the political issues. We are just saying that this time it has decreased. Okay, let me also tell you objectively, there are other reasons also, uh, uh, which could be, so last four sessions of the parliament got disrupted. The first two because of COVID, the third one because of election campaign and the fourth one now because of uh, this kind of disruption of the parliament. So this is what the editorial says that this is very uh, dismal state. Ideally, there should be at least 100 number of days for discussion in the parliament, but we are holding around 68 days of discussion and this state is very, very bad. Now, uh, yes, uh, Mehroon says that uh, voice vote, yes, voice vote was used to pass the, uh, the uh, laws in the parliament and this is a very dismal state because everybody is in a hurry and if we get into the procedure of creating laws, just creating laws without discussing them, you might as well think of the repercussions in the coming five to ten years, we will not have to only change the law, we will have to undo all the ills that the law has itself created. We have discussed this in one of the editorials, right? So therefore, creating the law critically with all stakeholders in mind is very important. One good uh, example is uh, farm law. Had we taken in consideration the farm farmer aspiration, this kind of issue would not have erupted as much, right? So this is it. And uh, yes, Mehroon, it was Kalimantan. That's true. And uh, uh, okay, yes, only through voice voting. Yes, that's true. Now, uh, the next part, the editorial says, it finishes here saying that uh, we need a stronger opposition during these critical times. Why? Because there is a major disruption in technology, right? We are, uh, the government is getting into surveillance mode of its citizens. Not only that, we are using increased technology. So complete change in societal system and therefore opposition needs to be strong enough to be able to hold the government accountable, right? So when I speak of this editorial, you can uh, just after this for 15, 10 minutes, whenever, whenever you have time, you got to pause and you got to 
नोट डाउन दीज ओपिनियंस दीज आर नॉट माई ओपिनियंस दीज आर द ओपिनियंस ऑफ दोज जेंटलमैन एंड लेडीज हु आर एक्सपर्ट इन दिस फील्ड एंड दीज काइंड ऑफ ओपिनियंस वी विल नोट डाउन एंड यूज वेन रिक्वायर्ड सो वन गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस आई हैड स्पोकन ऑफ इन वन ऑफ द एडिटोरियल्स दैट यूनाइटेड किंगडम हैज अ प्रोसीजर वेर इफ देर आर मोर देन हंड्रेड वर्किंग डेज इन दार्लियामेंट इन देर पार्लियामेंट दे विल अलॉट ट्वेंटी डेज टू द ऑपोजिशन to the opposition to set the agenda of the day how beautiful is that right so opposition also is countered here right they also present what they have to present agenda of the day and this is not something that india is following but india must follow a very good ideal practice okay going ahead the next editorial talks about the growing strategic importance of uh, outer space from indian express today's indian express all these three articles from today's uh, indian express hindu business line and uh, the third newspaper and this has been written by c raja mohan one of the important persons who writes editorials very good editorials so uh, the editorial says that yes quad has met and it finally said that we will be talking about uh, technology sharing technology sharing in emerging and newer areas of space collaboration defense cyber health security se semiconductor uh, artificial intelligence 5g and 6g the main idea was we discussed this yesterday in this snapshot if you are there in the article uh, in the, in the discussion so the main idea was to bypass china to have their own supply chain network for the production and uh, supply throughout the world and especially between the quad so the editorial says that there was a competition in the in the marine field earlier right and we just spoke of in many editorials how how america has shifted its focus from afghanistan to south china sea similarly now all the countries are shifting their focus from marine area of influence to space area because the space area has gained a lot of credible advantage we are talking of uh, not only military but civilian uh, commercial missions as well just a few days back we if you have seen newspapers we have covered here uh, one of the important missions was to take people to space and come back so one civilian crew it went to the space right near the space and it came back this was done by elon musk's company right similarly virgin atlantic virgin atlantic from uk also uh, conducted civilian aircraft uh, or it is going to conduct one civilian aircraft movement uh, around, around the space so visiting uh, space or near the edge of space and coming back now this uh, main idea behind uh, the outer space mission is to have one thing note this down space situational awareness ssa very important why because space situational awareness lets us to understand two things one we are not only monitoring the extraterrestrial and terrestrial objects that means earthly objects and space objects we are also monitoring the weather related uh, events so these are very important for uh, our own development right and therefore outer space treaty moon treaty these need to be refurbished they needs to be relooked how the countries have to hold this see india has this space technology india does not have a very robust uh, uh, rocket technology but india has got a very good space technology and that is the reason america every time wants to associate with india to counter china in space uh, technology see china also conducted its mission very lately on mars right and therefore uh, these things gain very much relevance when we want to compete with china right now one important uh, even that we covered in india space sector just 4 5 days back that was that india has allowed prime private sector investment and fdis also in space sector remember how many of you have covered this i don't know but if you uh, write uh, fdi space educate me on google you will be able to find that article so be regular and we will be able to link a lot of articles so that it makes complete sense while you write answers just one and a half hours every day evening and we will be able to cover it yes mehron spacex is the name of the company right true so uh, and this is a good development that india has uh, initiated its private sector because uh, private sector is going to participate and get in more fundings more finances more technology better cooperation right so this is the update the third editorial talks about the cryptocurrency which is the time and it says that for india it is the time to act right now from hindu business line the editorial says that uh, uh, cryptocurrencies have gained a lot of popularity in fact a cryptocurrency called as Bit bitcoin it has grown around 6 times almost in a year ethereum more than uh, 15 times in this year in this year itself so if you had put uh, 1 lakh rupees it would have been 15 lakhs smaller currencies like doge coin i know a friend he had uh, put in just 700 rupees and what he was with at one time in doge coin was 7 lakh rupees 1000 times of profit this is the kind of uh, uh, technology that uh, uh, this is the kind of incentive these kinds of technology are offering however they are very much volatile right now 
around 15 percent 10 to 15 percent of indians are investing in bitcoin right around 10 percent of not indians around the 10 percent of people investing in bitcoins and other cryptos are indians 10 to 15 percent and the economy of bitcoin is so so large it is so humongous that it is exceeding two trillion dollars Indian economy is around three trillion dollars, and it is Bitcoin itself is two trillion dollars. So we are talking of this. Yes, Sam, you had hundred uh, percent FDI. Sam is correct. It was hundred percent FDI by, uh, uh, offered to the space sector by government of India with some regulations, right? So moving ahead, this article says that. Uh, Bitcoin and all these crypto have some issues, for example, money laundering and illegal transactions. But it also says that United Nations has said two to five percent of global GDP, right? It is from illegal activities, but but criminal activities hardly represent 0.34 percent in cryptocurrency. So of the 2.5 percent uh, uh, illegal activities, only 0.34 of crypto. Can you see the difference mismatch? Of course, that means that crypto is about legal currency as well, legal tender of exchange as well. Government must recognize cryptocurrency. The government of India, the editorial had said that it is in a very topsy turvy situation about how it should talk about cryptos. So once the government said that we will be, uh, the banks had stopped all the transactions that were related to cryptocurrencies. After that, the parliamentary committee it also said that yes. No crypto business in India. After that, Supreme Court said that no, no, we don't do this. We will provide individual liberty to everybody. Transactions will be accepted. After that, the government and uh, the governor of RBI, those people also gave. I, mean, I think Ministry of Finance also. They also gave some good indications about crypto, saying that yes, we have to regulate them in some manner, right? So that means there is slowly and steadily acceptance of cryptos. If you know a little about crypto, or if you don't know, we had covered a number of articles about crypto as well. Central bank, digital currency, digital currency, cryptocurrency. So one important aspect of it was that it is not only anonymous; it is also theft-free. This is theft free, just like in bank, regular bank transactions. There is theft in swift transactions, swift transactions, right? So there is. This is theft free. Not only that, this is faster, and there are hardly any inter intermediaries here. So uh, the, these are the added advantages with crypto, and it is used in various new technologies. So India must accept this. This is how the editorial says that India must move towards progressive reforms. The time to act is now. Okay, moving to the last section, and what is that? The last section for today is uh, the case study section, and we are talking about uh, a place from. Uh, we are talking about a place from Odisha. We are talking of uh, Malkangiri, Malkangiri hill ranges. These are the places uh, in Odisha which are extremely deprived because of uh, the socio-economic condition, conditions of the people. Not only that, the geographical conditions are also not favorable. So uh, we have Bonda tribes here living here, and these are one of the uh, particularly vulnerable tribal groups (PBTGs) and. Uh, so you can well imagine what is the vulnerability that they are going through, and these vulnerable tribes have gone through various phases, and this is the phase in which they have shown a remarkable change. What is the change about? Let's look at it. Now, uh, this was a place where there was uh, unnaturally huge amount of rainfall. Because of this, the soil quality deteriorated in Malkangiri, and the traditional cultivation that these people used to do, they could not do anymore. They were dependent on the local bravery. That means they they ferment rice and other uh, uh, in indigenous crops, and they create some drink for them. Right? This is one. They also used to cultivate uh, some of the other important millets, but slowly because of technology and times changing times, they cultivate. They started to cultivate rice and paddy and other things. But this was only subsistence living. And they had to give more inputs, more fertilizers, more inputs, and again no water. Right, uh, the bad quality of uh, soil. So this was the earlier situation. But slowly and steadily, these Bonda tribes. Do remember the uh, the the name Bonda tribes? They, the women of this community, they started to take initiative. They said, "We will cultivate millets, something that we used to cultivate in primitive times. We'll start cultivating millets." Now, millets have what are millets? Bajra, ragi, right? So these are the kind of whole grain they cultivate, and they have more nutrition. Not only that, they can grow in a less quantity of uh, the you know the soil need not be very very fertile for this. Not only that, they also need less water. So in case there is some issue with water presence, this is not also issue for them. So they started to do this. Soil also got its fertility back slowly and steadily, and uh, the people who migrated. 
out of uh, the places, out of their uh, Malkangari uh, ranges, they came back with better technology, with better innovation, and this is how they chalked a new history for themselves in contemporary times. We are talking of Bonda tribes from Malkangiri. Do remember the name Bonda tribes, Malkangiri and uh, rejuvenation of traditional agriculture, millets cultivation. Right. So quote of, for today is leadership is not a person on position. It is a complex moral relationship between people based on trust, obligation, commitment, emotion and shared vision for the good. Is it not true? And this is what uh, Bonda tribes have done this and this is what you also will do once you get into the exam uh, uh, get into UPSC through this examination and for that you will have to be regular regular especially with current affairs so be with me and uh, we will keep discussing interesting editorials articles case studies updates featured news and uh, till then all you got to do is put some thumbs up and if you like it enough put a comment or uh, share this with your friends to get regular updates so thanks for watching. See you at 6.30 on the featured news discussion. Bye-bye.